What is going on, you guys? We're back with another rebuild, and we're doing a special team in my heart, as I am a Packer fan. And Jesus Christ, look at my guy. But uh, I was going to save this for Sunday. You guys might have heard me say uh, I have a special team. I already know what I'm going to do on Sunday. Um, this was going to be the team, but it was it was not, apparently, because we, we didn't do it. We, I just showed you guys we didn't. Don't you believe me? But um, this is what we're doing. Uh, not You know, one... Primetime League's coming out, too. Two, I want to do them now. I don't want to wait anymore. And three, I want you guys, if you can, whether it's the comment section, Schultz's videos, or his Twitter, preferably his Twitter if you guys want to, um, wish him a happy birthday. Today is his birthday. Uh, Thursday, it is the day. Um, Randall Cobb. Uh, of course, let's get into this rebuild, though. Um, so... You guys didn't know this is the team we're going to be rocking on primetime as well. So, uh, you know, our team's going to be a little bit different than this. But obviously, we're not done yet. So, this one's going to be a lot different than the one we're going to rock with at the very same. Uh, we are going to be doing this in a fantasy style, if you could not tell. Uh, well, now you know. Now you know. Um, I could go super sleaze mode and just, like, sign all the free agents and make something happen there. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go the traditional fantasy style route. I also want to see what the uh, trade block guys are, but of course, game's already on the way of the cock blockage. <laughs> let's let's get some trades though. Clay Matthews, Devon Howes, and a third round pick for Shazier to start out our trades. Um, this has been rough. I was trying to make so many different trades, and it's just not easy. Morgan Burnett, obviously, off the team. Josh Jones going to be a starter. Safeties are good. We could use a backup though. Cornerback, obviously, the biggest issue. Middle linebacker was one of the big issues, but now. I'm not saying we're set, but we, we could go with this squad, and I wouldn't be too mad about it. So uh, we'll, we'll continue along our path. Offensive line, a couple of pieces there. Realistically, not too much to deal with on this roster. Um, don't, you know, There's really not a whole lot that there needs to be worried about. So we trade Burnett, Jake Ryan, and a third next year for Amari Cooper. I'm a little shocked that that went through, if I'm being honest. Uh, but, I mean, nonetheless, I'm not going to really worry about it. Uh, this is very tough for me now because I'm not sure what to do with the wide receiver core. I love Devontae Adams. He's definitely a, a guy that's going to stick around in real life as well. Um, I love Cooper, obviously. We just traded for him. Cobb is nice, but Jordy is better. He betrayed Jamal Williams, Ra, Richard Rodgers, and a six round this year for Stephon Tuitt. Uh, we do need an interior guy, so he probably will play there, but he could play DT. You guys know that's a, a very favorite move by me and, I mean, just any, anyone that wants value there because he does go up tremendously to D-tackle. Uh, we're turning into the Steelers a little bit here. I mean, they're they're a good team to trade with, though. That's the reason why. Uh, do they not want someone here? I mean, I would take this all day. Okay, that's... Thank God it's a fantasy rebuild. <laughs> and then I said... Let the offensive line needs ruin their linebacker core. Lane Taylor, Jason Spriggs in the second this year for Bobby freaking Wagner. I really didn't want to get rid of Adams, but Blake Martinez Adams in a second next year for Olivier Vernon. I don't know. I've never put him an outside linebacker before, but with how talented he is, hopefully he can go there. We got a little bit desperate, but Kyler Fackrell, Joe Thomas, and a fourth round pick this year. For Jamar Taylor. Finally, I had to mix the four and a five for a third from the Chargers. Rollins, Gunter, and a third for Dayon, who will be playing safety. Well, since I can't find anyone, we're going to give Cobb up to the Cowboys, which is risky. Oh, Jesus. They do not want anything to do with us, do they? It had to be done. Cobb and Ripkowski for Joe Thomas. The, the Browns get a lot better there. Uh, I got to get Ripkowski back. He's the pride and joy of this team. He really is. They've got, they've got the tail. They don't even need him. I can't be without my boy Ripkowski. They're going to do it to me, aren't they? I guess. <laughs> it's time to move on. <laughs> oh, boy, Ripkowski. Why did I do it? Why did I do it? Yay, we got him back. So we trade Kendricks, Hundley, and a fourth next year for a first and second, or a first and fourth this year. So we trade our first round pick, a fourth this year in Callahan. It says not very skilled. 
uh, for the Bears' first-round pick. And now we got to you know make a few cuts, fix up the roster, and we are ready to win a Super Bowl. I mean, compete for a Super Bowl. So we're looking at our year one roster, and boy, oh boy, do our roster look good. We've got, you know, running back's a little bit of an issue, but at the same time, Ty Montgomery, he's got quick. He's 82 years, 82 years old. He's 24 years old, 82 overall. He should get to an 86 or more by the end of the year. Devontae Adams looking good. I guess to be fair, he probably should be in the slot. Kind, I don't know. It's a tough, it's a tough spot. It really is, but either way, um... I mean, of course, amazing offensive line. Offensive line wasn't bad here before uh, grabbing these guys. We are in a 3-4, right? We should be, right? It's just weird because they mentioned earlier when I put to it as a... Uh... Yeah, why are we... I was about to say, I knew something was up because they put to it as a uh, speed rusher. Big old to it was a speed rusher when I put him in at, uh, at right end. I don't know what to say there, but we, we fixed that up. Uh, cornerback... I did actually put King at number two, didn't I? Son of a bitch. Corners are clearly a huge issue on this team, but it's okay because we, you know, hopefully everything else is enough to get us to the playoffs. Uh, linebacker core is very amazing, something we haven't had in a while here in Green Bay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, looking looking pretty solid. We have two first-round draft picks. I mean, I think we, uh, we made one hell of a team. I'm a little worried, though, because some of these guys are going to need contracts by the end of the year to cash our might. Joe Thomas will, uh, Devontae will, Jordy will. Uh, what else do we have? Shazier, Pro, I think he will. Uh, Clinton Dix will. And I think Buford Cannon will as well. We'll see, though. This could be an easy year one. I'm not exactly sure the plans for teams that I kind of think can make it. Like, the Packers in real life, they could make it. But in Madden, they almost never win the Super Bowl. So we'll see. We'll see what we do. We might have ourselves some issues. I just signed to it, and uh, we're down to like 22 mil cap, and I think more people are going to have contracts. I think uh, the Packers here having Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, he's really hurting us with that that money that he's worth. He's he's very expensive, um, but that's you know beside the point. We're going to at least get a full year out of these players, uh, so that should be really. Really, I was about to say that should be enough to win or uh, get her done. Uh, and we did win against the Falcons, which is a much more impressive feat than the Seahawks, I think. Let's take a look, though, at the uh, the news here. Left outside linebacker around the game his whole life. And then a right guard. So two superstars already. And we already have uh, the experience or the extra weekly XP for our uh, coach. I don't know if that was the guy or not. Honestly, I cannot remember. I really need to start paying attention. Like, I, I've just been, like, half-assing these, uh, these... Con oh, Jesus. That's one of the best offensive linemen I've seen in a while now. Oh, Jesus, as well. <laughs> Only offensive lineman I've seen in a while, apparently. I think what it is, a lot of the contracts are going to be next year instead of this year. Uh, I'm actually kind of glad we went with the route of getting rid of uh, Cobb instead of Jordy because at the end of the day... I think both of them are going to need to be uh, letting go. Uh, here you can see we're already spending most of our money on a guy like uh, Devontae Adams. Uh, Corey Lindsley probably gets a contract. He doesn't want too much. Uh, Jay Ron, you know, like a lot of these guys will not be re-signed. Want a couple of guys here late in the uh, draft at wide receiver looking okay. Uh, actually, really okay, especially this guy, Cameron McCown. He looks good. Then we got... Uh, Darren Samuda looking very good, and then uh, Dante Hansen looking very good. So hopefully, you know, if we can't keep Jordy, we have an option. We have a running back with the Heisman Fudge, <laughs> Rodriguez Fudge, uh, Barry. We got a lot of guys here that are good. Look at all these really good players. Okay, <laughs> maybe not for that guy. Pain. Don't need him, but I mean. It is what it is. Fudge, good play there. Good player anyways. Delmar, Barry, and then we had an upshot. I don't know where the hell he was. Was he a DT as well? That Yeah, he was a DT. Both are terrible though. So, Devontae Adams wants a test free agency. I gave him plenty. I offered him six ticks to the right on both, and he's trying to enter free agency on me now. Uh, and that's, you know, that's something that's going to cost us big time. Might have to tag him. We're, we're going to see where we're at. 
Might have to tag him though. Eight four and one. I don't know what the rest of the teams are. Don't I didn't look over to the right. So eight four and one. I mean those are pretty. It's pretty decent. So hopefully we can finish out strong, get a playoff berth here. If we don't make the playoffs, okay. F Ten five and one has more yards through the air this season than any quarterback in NFL history. Was he MVP? He was not though. All right, so that's cool. Aaron Rodgers. I don't know how fucking Russell Wilson beat that. 5,500 yards, 40 touchdowns, 12 picks. Yeah, he did He did not earn MVP. He really did not. Rushing, he got four touchdowns. I mean, like, not even close. He had over, like, 1,200 yards almost less. Pass rating of 111.3, 111.6. Like, they were so similar. The yards are here, though. They're here. But then again, we do have a more stacked roster, so it is what it is. Uh, three 1,000-yard receivers. Uh, Bennett uh, received almost all the touchdowns. How good was Montgomery? Montgomery actually had a really good year. 14 touchdowns rushing, 6 receiving. That's, that's 20 touchdowns on the year. That's pretty good. Uh, 11 sacks given up. I wish it would have been a little less than that. Uh, interior was good. Vernon was terrible on the outside. He could be on his way out already, especially with the money situation. Uh, good stuff there. Don't know if Kevin King got enough picks to become defensive rookie of the year, but still three picks isn't bad. Uh, Trevor Davis with a punt return touchdown. Second in the league for offense. Defense, those corners had to let us down a bit. Uh, 20th. It <laughs> doesn't give me good hope for real life, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, God, all these additions. and Yeah, that's that's the situation we're in. Defense rookie of the police. Kevin King did win defensive rookie of the year. That is what I'm talking about. That's huge. Ty was number two at running uh, running backs. Offensive line, Joe Thomas. Good stuff, my dude. Best linebacker, best DB. So, I mean, we got Kevin King, the uh, Defensive Rookie of the Year award, which is huge. That is so big. Uh, if we're going to get... What the hell did Amari do to get 59,000 XP? Oh, he's only quick? What did he do? Progression history, did they show us? Uh, you got like 50,000 XP. Oh, Jesus. The Pro Bowl's 32,000. Wow. Kevin King, only 27,000 XP. Yeah, not a whole lot of XP in the slightest, but we are in the playoffs, so let's uh, let's get these upgrades. 59,000. You get 32,000 for making it to the Pro Bowl. That is pretty awesome. Well, he's about to be like an absolute legend. Do they even have Pro Bowl voting in Madden anymore? I remember they used to. So let's take a look at the team. 99 Rodgers, 87 Mont. Cooper is amazing. Thank God he's not the one that we lost. I mean, not that Devontae's gone, but there's a chance I could let him go. I'm not saying I will, but it depends on what Jordy's contract is like because I know you can give him a contract. He can play at least another year for us. Uh, defense looking a little bit better. I don't want to move Kevin King because he actually did pretty decent where he was. So, cornerback's not a huge liability anymore now that Kevin King is uh, an official GOAT. <laughs> He's so beast. If I can get him to 83 after year one, 83 with quick dev after year one in uh, the primetime league, oh boy, that's going to be nice. Unless maybe I can get him higher. I don't know because obviously playing in the games are, you know, it's a lot more impressive. Or not impressive, but you usually get more XP. Plus, I don't know the sliders, to be honest. Wouldn't that be kind of cool, though, if we had Tony Romo in Madden as an announcer? That would be so insane. Um, but I'm not used to seeing a good quarterback on my roster like this good. So I would hope we can score almost every drive. And thank God they are right to left. I know we didn't score at all, but right to left looked like a struggle. 3-6 to six against the Saints D. Come on, EA. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And start of the third, they are up by two. Can we cut that deficit? We cannot. Our defense is apparently worse than the Saints. I don't see how that's physically possible. Third and one now. And that's what a clutch play to Jordy. Up by one. And there's a pick. Damn it, I didn't get to see who it was. Huge touchdown. And as soon as I slow it down, the, the team is off to the races. Defense clutching up. like, And then once again, you say clutching up. And then they mess it up. Ooh, they didn't get the two-point conversion. And playing not to lose here is Mr. Mike McCarthy. And uh, he's lucky he has a defense this time around. 
and it's not even Mike McCarthy. I forgot I'm the coach now. But the, the play not to lose the mentality is locked in here in Green Bay. And after that game, I do not feel good about winning this goddamn uh, Super Bowl at all. That was atrocious. That was atrocious. The offense should be ashamed of themselves. Let's see. Aaron Rodgers threw two picks. <laughs> Drew Brees had to throw four picks, and we still only won by nine. That's disappointing. I mean, Ty Mont even played well. Uh, they had a fumble with freaking Peterson. What is wrong with our team? Nothing went their way, and they still only lost by nine. Look at that. Randall had a pick. Clinton Dix had a pick. Wagner had a pick. Dayon had a pick. Uh, kicking, wow, five for five, not bad at all. That's a, a pretty good game, I'd like to I'd like to say. So we won by nine. Not an impressive win at all, but it's a win nonetheless. Somewhat decently, uh, 92 to their 86. I'm honestly shocked that we're only a 92. I thought we had a much better year one team here, but uh, I guess not. So we see on the bottom of the screen, Seattle wins by two against the Falcons. Don't know if that's going to matter, though, because we still have to take on these Eagles starting off. Hopefully, ooh, Jesus. Okay, I mean, both teams are looking very good on offense so far. Uh, not sure if I should be uh, worried or not. Okay, defense comes up a little bit. Up by three, tied at 15 all. Before half, we get three, so we are up by three start of the third quarter. This is a very rough team, man. Like, we have a great roster, and they just do not perform only down by six now. If the Packers can get down the field, I don't know what happened there. But it is going to be a touchdown. It's going to be a made extra point. EA finally making a little bit of sense. Third and ten, you give up a 13-yard passing play. Jordan Matthews on the Eagles still. Eight-yard reception. Third and two. I thought that was fourth down. It was apparently not. And they score. I don't think that was a touchdown, though. I think that was a field goal. So with seven minutes left, can Rodgers show that he's clutch? Of course he can't. Why would he? Let's okay. What happened here? Good, uh, good defense. Good decision upon. I was gonna come in, but you know what? I was like, Packer, we have a good team here. We have a good team. Third and thirteen. I mean, oh look at the defense bailing us out big time because Rodgers cannot get it done in the clutch. And another bailout. Are we serious? I'm coming in. I'm coming in mainly not because I'm worried about losing, but because uh, if anything, I should be you know expected to win here because. Our offense, our defense has been clutch here. I want to see what uh, what the team looks like. So I forgot all we have is uh, Cooper. Everyone else is Packer. That's a tough decision. Cooper is clutch. That is why the man is a beast. Didn't throw any picks. Rogers just I don't know. The team just isn't doing well. Maybe we fumbled a lot. I have no clue. Mari Cooper though, what a clutch catch. And uh, let's see how much my play actually affected. We were up by four. They kicked the field goal there. Obviously, they would have went for it instead. I don't know what that will happen here, but that is game. So, I mean, it was fourth and six. They kicked the field goal. They would have had to go for it. Would they have gotten it? I have no clue. Luckily, it wasn't a guaranteed, like, oh, we, we physically stole the game from them. Rodgers, he played better this game. Uh, a little bit more accurate, but still, I would have liked to see uh, us just dominate there near the end. Defense was giving us all the options we needed, all the opportunities, just like real life, honestly, against the Seahawks. And the offense just doesn't get the job done. They get down the field, and they just can't score. They just can't score. They get three points. The Seahawks Packers, that's been that's been one lately. That's been a, a huge one. So let's take a look. What are we going against here? We are 92 at least. 92 to their 91. It's the best team we face so far, and that worries me. 15-1. and one. They lost to one team, and I don't know who the hell it was. It definitely wasn't us. We lost by like two touchdowns. Down by 11, start of the fourth. We have a decent defense. There goes Bobby Wagner getting a pick on his own team. Can we get down the field here? Looking okay. Down by 11, and that's a huge play on third down to Jeff Janis. We go for two, do not get it. Down by five. One stop. There's the stop. Okay, I don't understand how they got an extra play there. Are we fucking serious? Oh, my God. When they ask you Packers playbook, they mean Packers playbook because it's terrible. Like, Mike McCarthy is the most overrated coach in the damn league. Look at Amari Cooper. Look at Amari Cooper run. We still won't get it. I, I set us up, and we still won't get it. Watch. Oh, we got it. I just had to completely rewrite history here. Nothing big. No problem. 
bailed out. Like this, honestly, this game right here is the most realistic sim game I've ever seen in my life. Third and six, we won the game. <laughs> Call it what you want. I don't even care anymore. But <laughs> third and six, you're trying to run the ball. Luckily, there's a penalty. <laughs> Oh, God, EA's got the Packers down pat, man. That's why they never win. Stupid real-life simulation Packers. Rodgers, terrible, Mont doing decently. Rodgers is so shit in sim, it's unbelievable. Like, I would much rather have, like, Andrew Luck or something. I don't even know. I don't pay attention to Andrew Luck, but... Tom Brady, way more than Rodgers in sim. Not even a question. 10-5-1 versus the 13-3 and Patriots. Both 92 overall. You know... It's interesting, EA. We have uh, a somewhat easy schedule here. Well, not easy schedule. We have an easy division. Yet, yeah, with the same overall, we went 10-5-1. Interesting. But at least Tom Brady can get that done. We are just not playing well. Get a touchdown there. Miss the extra point. Classic stuff. Very used to it by now if you guys have been watching this year. Uh, down now by three. Offense. Got to get it done. There you go. Clutch play. Another huge play. This time to tie like I said, Ty Montgomery, he's a monster in the receiving game. Up by four now, six minutes left. If we can just get one stop, Demarius Randall with a pick. That's a name I haven't seen thus far. And on third and four, we get a four-yard rush, and it was actually a four-yard rush. Are we going to win the Super Bowl? I mean, I know that Seahawks thing was a flimsy one. Fourth and ten, he gets sacked by Vernon. That's going to be a Super Bowl touchdown right away. Holy shit. There was a little bit of dominance near the end there in the fourth quarter. Coach is happy. Packers, we finally are back on top. I will say, with the way Rodgers plays in Sim and the team plays in Sim, the Packers are going to be a harder realistic team than I thought it was going to be. It really might be. Uh, but anyways, we get a Super Bowl win. Another one on the old Rodgers book. I'm a little curious to see what these, uh, these contracts are going to be like. With these uh, rebuilds, where um, you're not you're not expected to win the Super Bowl, but you're also not like, damn, you're one Packers. That's crazy. You know, we are gonna keep going until we can't win again. So you know, just like the Seahawks, we won what two straight, almost three, six touchdowns for Rodgers. There you go, boy. There you go. Um, so yeah, like I said, gonna keep going until we uh, basically bust Super Bowl or bust. Uh, you know, if we miss the playoffs here, that's it. I'm not going to delete the league, but we're going to be ended with that. You know, it's Super Bowl is the goal. With these fantasy styles, it's not too, too hard. Sometimes, you you know, it is hard. You can't get it done. But I think we can probably get another one out of this team uh, this year. At least one last one. Maybe not afterwards. Might not be able to afford everyone, but it is what it is. Aaron Rodgers looks a little weird there, but I'll, uh, I'll give it to EA there, you know. One of the best in the league, and you can't make him look almost exactly to the T. Looking a little creepy, if I must say so myself. <laughs> Tell me Aaron Rodgers did not look creepier there, and I will uh, I'll get your eyes checked for you. I won't. I will not do that. Good sacks by, uh, was it Daniels? Yeah, Mike Daniels and Vernon. Not bad there. So we win the Super Bowl with the good old green and gold. Still broken as hell, so I can't see what our offense and defense is, which is cool. I love when the game doesn't work properly. It's fun. So do we really not have to sign anyone else? 11.6. Like, could we not just overpay for him in free agency? That's what I'm trying to say. J. Rowan, he wasn't even on the team in real life, so I can't be mad letting him go. I thought Jordy was on a contract year as well. Maybe not. Maybe he's not. Um, I got to let him go for that price because for 11.6, I wanted to long-term sign him anyways, so I can just long-term sign him here. going to cost us a little bit more, but at the, in, you know, in the grants, the fuck kind of money? What? Our cap is dead. So he ain't, uh, he ain't cheap, but he beasty. Uh, I think he's about six mil a year at the moment. I don't know if he needs a contract. If he does rip a -roo. Uh, Jordy Nelson, Olivier Vernon, and a fourth round for Mac. The money situation's a bit bad, but now apparently the cap is good. Let's take a look at Mac. Though. I bet you they didn't sign him yet, did they? Joe Thomas, get out now. 18 mil. No way. Joe Thomas to the Giants. They, you know they love that. 
for Wes and Riss Richburg. So we can finally sign back our player. However, I don't know how much money Mr. Hopkins wants. 34.7 for four years. 47.2 for four years. I mean, I love me some Devante, but my dude. Hopkins ain't worth the extra money. You're lying. What? How is he a superstar? What do they do? They juiced him up. They are definitely cheating. Please be Hopkins. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We got a better wide receiver than Devante. Um, but we have the scouting. We don't really need a whole lot. Where we get rid, bit. we got rid of a wide receiver, but we gained a really good one. And then we have a couple of guys in here that are up to no good. Hopefully, going to be making trouble on other people's rosters or four other people's rosters on our rosters in the neighborhood. I got there. Don't worry. Seven point six in the seventh round. I don't know if I really believe it, but I also uh, I know a steal when I see one. And boy, do I! There he is, Bordano. Bordano, a, f a 7.3, no, no, no. Tight end, do we have, ooh, Jesus. Look at that guy. These are some high-ass tight ends. There's some talent in this draft, man, at the worst position possible for us. So we got rid of Jordy. We should have a decent replacement for him here in the draft. I mean, at the same time, we got rid of Jordy, but we basically also replaced him. Devontae's nice, Jordy's nice, but I would argue that DeAndre Hopkins at this point in his career just for his value alone, is better than both of them. A 4-2-4 from the 6-3 spot. Kevin King, you've got a homie. Kevin King's got a homie in me. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> Let's go on to the draft, though. We know what we want. That corner, basically, is all we, all we care about. But we might be in for another one. So the Vikings and Rams. I got to make sure these two teams do not need corner because I cannot miss on this corner. This corner is too damn good. They need left tackle, left out, or right out, I don't know, something. Quarterback, DT. So, corner isn't on the Rams list yet. So, we will be taking Mr. Parrish Moss. Uh, very, very good here. Please be great. Number five, took him three. Wow. Look at the stats. Normal, which sucks, but Jesus, that is, that is an amazing corner. God damn, man. That's what also gets me going for the primetime league is like, those type of players in the draft? Oh, my lord. Oh, my lordy. So we have stacked up for the third and fourth round, and we are looking to unload. So Thomas Fells, early fourth, looks amazing. He's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. I don't know if we have a spot for him, actually. Was there a reason for me to do that? I don't think there was. I don't think there actually was. Whoops. Uh, this tight end, he can make a great backup. Quick dev. Maybe even more than a backup, because those are some good stats. 109, he's supposed to go 24. Look at how amazing he is. At 6'7", he's got 87 speed, 84 excel, agility of 84 as well. Jesus, that's really good. Kratos could be, please be good, be a replacement for Nick Perry. Quick, and he is a replacement for Nick Perry. That is a lot of money saved. Hope one of them is good. And there it is. I don't know if we even need to grab the other guy, because that is pitcher perfect. Uh, we have a guy, Avant, Avant at the Eagles. Oh, shit. So if I want someone in the six, I have to take them now. We do not have another six-round pick, and I am obviously not going to grab uh, draft picks for that. Superstar Dev, another one of those guys, man. We took him 131, supposed to go 133. An amazing player. Weird, he's white and he's fast as hell. Kelly, wow, we found the number two ranked talent in the 172nd pick. A uh, really good player there. Really good. He's got spin move too. Does he have? Does it show elusiveness? Yeah, his elusiveness sucks. But <laughs> what do you want from me? Seven point two. He looks great to me, and he is supposed to go fifteen. <laughs> wow, this draft was stacked. Like, look at the talent. Like, we had one bad one. Oh wait, no, he didn't because he's superstar. This was an amazing draft. Number three, Parrish Moss, one of the best corners I've ever seen. He's 22, 6'3". He's like Kevin King, but so much better. Fells, 78 overall, great offensive lineman. I'm not just saying that because he has, you know, he's 21, which is huge. LSU, 88 strength, 87 impact, 85 run block, decent excel, eh, on the speed. 
and pass block is 80, so he just needs to get his pass block up. Fryer, I mean, do I really need to say anything? He's 87 speed at 6'7 as a rookie. How young is he? 23 is a little old, but it is what it is. Kratis, quick dev again, 87 speed, 88 hit power, 21 years old, amazing. Samuda, quick, 22 years old, amazing. Bordano, 23, superstar, amazing. I mean, he's amazing, he just doesn't have awareness. Kelly, the second overall pick, uh, value uh, at running back, amazing. Falani, quick dev, 78 overall, amazing. And then McCrown, or McCown, quick, 80. Clearly, without a doubt, the best class I've ever had. Shazier is going to need a contract. That might be enough for me to get rid of him. Um, Falani's a rookie. If we make the playoffs, he'll get to Shazier and then some. So I was going to take the route of not um, Super B squad, but I had to. Shazier, Jamar Taylor, and a third for Darius Slay. Our cornerback squad is now, uh, as the kids say, lit. <laughs> it's a really good squad. So this is the squad we are putting out there this year, and man, is this rookie class amazing. Amazing rookies. I mean, great tight end, great wide receivers. We go into the defense, great middle linebacker, great outside linebacker, great corner. I mean, this is clearly the best I've ever had for a draft. We did really well, guys. Pro you know, props to us, right? Uh, let's move on, though, to the regular season. We'll, we'll still take a look. We have a first-round pick. It's our own. Okay, so you have Mac at Superstar. Okay, that's a little expensive. Mari, Dayon, uh, Ripkowski, we'd probably let go. Ty, we got him to Superstar. I don't know, man. Hockland Dix, Demarius. I mean, it's not bad. It's actually not as bad as I thought. What's the money, though? Okay, so we're not off as bad as I thought we were. Got Mac back. Amari can be signed. Dayon will be signed. Rip won't. Ty will. Ha Clinton Dix, though, I'm not sure about. Because he's he really hasn't upgraded. He really hasn't. Demarius, I don't think we would sign back. Going to week 15. Let's see if we can get ourselves an automatic superstar Heisman win and player. We do not have one, apparently. But regardless, for us to even think about that stuff, we have to win another Super Bowl. Good damn chance it happens. If, I mean, to be fair, we have to make it first. Don't know. The the race was close. And Rodgers wins MVP. Who's the regressor? 11-5. Still no bye week. Mason Crosby under 75% of his kicks. That's okay. So 11-5. I didn't show you the first season that we didn't cheat, but once again, if you think we cheated, you crazy, man. Loss of the Seahawks, Eagles, Falcons, Bills, and Patriots. Not the worst teams to lose to, I suppose. Bills a little shaky there, but MVP Rodgers. Take a quick look at the crowd. 49 touchdowns, 12 picks. Could have uh, had the win first year. A little bit down on the yards, but that's okay. Ty, zero fumbles. I mean, he only has like 89 carrying. I'm a little shocked that he didn't fumble much. I don't know if the offensive line is the big cause, but McCown should be offensive rookie of the year. Holy crap. 1,200 yards, 15 touchdowns. This offense gets it done, man. The Friar didn't do too well. He had a lot of touchdowns, though. Blocking 1, 3, and 6 better this year as well. Sax Mac does lead the pack. He does not actually. Kratos does better. Interesting. Mike Daniels does well. Team did really well all across the board. Slay, um, Dayon, King. Um, the rookie did not get any. Uh, Jesus, Mason was bad. Holy shit, Mason. What are you doing? That was terrible. Number one offense. Cl number two. Who got? A, who beat us there, Patriots? Number two offense, number eight D, number one offense, of course, the Patriots. Number two, wow, the Patriots are deadly. Number one and like six, I believe. Awards, though, we should have a ton of them. Uh, there you go, winning there. Do we have another one? I thought we, I thought I seen like Ty or something. NFC, obviously, Rodgers. Defensive player of the year, Bobby was three, Mac was four. Offensive rookie of the year, really? Abernathy, I don't even know who these two guys are. How do they beat McCown? Defensive Rookie of the Year, really, beating Kratos. I don't understand that, but let them have their day, I suppose. McCown was number two in the league for wide receivers, yet he wasn't the best offensive rookie. Okay there, boss. Uh, Khalil Mack winning uh, best linebacker. That's actually a bit of a shocker. Usually they give that to coverage guys. You can see how many of these guys are not, Yeah, you know, like you got Kratos. Our two guys are the only guys that aren't pass rush, unless that rookie was. I don't know. But what is the XP? We got to see some decent totals here, right? 
McCown, nice, 39K, nothing there. Offensive line, about 10K, tied to dunk it. Anything. Cooper, once again, amazing. Defense, Kratos did okay. Everyone else, not really much. Although I will say Moss had a lot during the year. I don't know if he won some awards or something, but he had a little bit during the year. So I'm not saying we're going to win the Super Bowl again, but, I mean, this team clearly has the best chance to do it. One of our better teams we've ever had this draft. To completely turn this team from, damn, we barely got a year to, wow, we are looking stacked. Okay, Falani, not, you know, not as good. Little old fallopian tube over there, not doing as well as I thought he would. Kevin King, 87 overall. Nice, nice, nice. Mike Daniels. Interior is looking a little rough, I will say that, but it doesn't matter. Nick Perry is a backup, though. Jesus Christ. Anyways, going on against the Giants, we have to be 95 easily. 91, but that's not updated yet. Easily a 95. One of my favorite teams so far. Uh, Packers, of course, are my favorite team in real life. And we have uh, a couple of decent players here. Nice couple of rookies that I like. So I'm okay with this team. I think it's uh, it's gone pretty well. Okay, okay. So 10, 13 to 0, 16 to 0. Not quite the score I'd like to see, but still looks like it should be a win. 23 to 0. Packers defense almost shut down there. Uh, lockdown though for the most part giving up late here but that's that's the Packer way and we finished the game winning by 10 at the 10 yard line actually it was 13 maybe at the 10 yard line we get the win no it was a 10 point win against the Giants in the wild card how do Rodgers play okay I suppose um, Ty Mont did okay Evan Ingram did really well for them Fryer had a touchdown defensively what are we looking at? Two sacks from Kratos. He's looking really damn good. A lot of sacks in general. Uh, let's move on, though, to the next game where we hopefully play someone a little bit tougher. Although we didn't. We barely won. This is how the Packers... This is how to win in the playoffs. Yeah, we know how to win in the playoffs. We showed it there. Play divisional playoff against the Falcons. Here we are. 92 to their 89. Are we really not better than that? Really? I thought we were maxed. Easily. But I guess not. This is only the division around, and we have a team like the Falcons. That's not good, but, oh, Jesus. Okay, great run by Ty Mon, it would appear. Down by six, start of the second quarter. This is uh, it's looking interesting. I feel good about our chances, though, stopping them. And there we go. We finally get the lead. And start of the third, we are down by six, though. So this could be a loss. Getting on the field nicely, up by one. Defense clutches up, up by four now. Our ball, it would appear, and on third and two, they get a great defensive play. This could be them going back for the lead, and there was a penalty sacked by Mack and a huge run by Freeman, 46-yard touchdown, down by three, striking back quickly here with about six minutes left. Can we get the touchdown? We can, up by four. Can the Falcons keep the pressure up? They can, down by three. We might lose. Oh, no. Are we going to lose this game? We do not deserve to lose. Wow. Can Rodgers clutch it? Can Rodgers clutch it? Huge penalty down the field, it would appear. Rodgers clutches it. Do we miss the extra point? We definitely missed the extra point. I don't know what to tell you. OT. What's going to happen of this? Running down the field nicely. Passing it very nicely down the field. And only a field goal. If they score a touchdown, they win the game. Fourth and one, they get a rush by Brian Hill. If they score a touchdown, it's over. And they win by three on a touchdown. The Falcons knock us off by three in one hell of a game played by these two teams. One of the more iconic games, clearly one of the best playoff games ever it would have been. But we actually lose here. I cannot believe that. He's trying to make out with our coach. I don't know why. But he wants it. He wants the D. Looking at his quarterback. How you doing? He's, I love how you talk. You don't talk to your quarterback like that in a divisional game. We were consistent, but we didn't put up enough. Four points in the second quarter, yay. Are you trying to tell me that was a, uh, a two-safety performance by us? Interesting. Those stats made us lose. Interesting. Very interesting. A little bit too much... Uh, conservativeness from our team it would appear Rodgers threw a pick one touchdown he's really not great in sim got to be honest uh, where I can Ty Mont performed so well 
7.6 per carry on 175 yards with three touchdowns. So good. Lack of touchdowns, really. Just settling for field goals and, uh, I don't know. It just, would they have more field goals than us, too? I don't even know. We just got beat. That's unfortunate. That That's the rebuild. That is that is the rebuild. We lost our chance at the Super Bowl. Five team sacks, yeah. We uh, we are not in the playoffs anymore, sadly. Who wins it? It's got to be the Falcons. If they beat us, they can beat anyone. They can beat anyone. Falcon, wow, by one. You knew it was going to happen because if they could beat us, like I said, they will be unstoppable. We had the best roster in the league by far. Look at that, though. Barely winning against the Falcons, or the Falcons, the Eagles. They barely beat us, man. What a game. Let's see the score for this one, though. I wonder if Tommy retired. No, he's still here. Uh, Tom Brady threw two picks in the Super Bowl. Tevin Coleman. Uh, did he outperform Freeman? He did. Out or no, he didn't. He did not outperform him. Just had more yards. Defensively, though, just good. I don't know how we lost, though. I don't know. Like I can see where the Patriots maybe lost, but our team is stacked from the quarterback down to the damn safety. Like, look at the squad. Squad. Look at this squad. It's amazing. Uh, Kenny Clark and, you know, the other, the DT here, Baxter, is the worst of the, on the team. But still, like, the rest of the squad is amazing. It's a great roster, and we just did not win another bowl. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, thanks for liking all the videos. Thanks for getting uh, the Rams rebuild to 1,000. It'd be cool to see if we can get one of these to 1,000, especially for Schultz's birthday. Remember to go to his Twitter and wish him a happy birthday today. Um, but anyways, uh, I don't know what the next rebuild is. I really don't. Uh, I might start working on one right now. So your suggestions might be uh, nothing. I almost, I'm, I'm still debating it. I might cut the rebuild week off at Friday. I know I said Sunday, but man, these are tough. I'm barely getting these in every day but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you guys come back for next video but until next video